to Reynolds Razorback Stadium, where they have been calling the Hogs since early in the morning in anticipation of this showdown we have coming. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, the LSU Tigers, taking on another SEC rival, the Arkansas Razorbacks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Razorbacks will kick it off to get us underway. Let's see what he can do with the return. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The Tigers' return team will have that offense backed up. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling. The temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, and David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Looking down the middle. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Defense will always try to get some tips. You know, break on the football, get a tip, get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking on the football and forcing the incompletion. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Oh, what a grab by the defense. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And that's kind of a double whammy for this offense because on their opening drive, not only did they turn it over with the interception, but they've now set their defense up in a really tough spot deep in their own end. The offense lining up for a first down play. The give to the tailback. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Man, oh man, the ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front too, right? They got to move the defensive lineman out of the way. At least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there, he didn't have any. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas! And the Hogs have put up the first touchdown of the game, and whoopee! Whoopee going nuts in the stands. Great fan base. They get excited, and you get out to the lead early, putting that score on the board, they are going nuts. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. The give is to Williams. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. Lining up from the 34 on first down. They're going to ride this running back. 
good pickup on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played, and no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail, and I think the sense of urgency, David, in a game like this just goes way up. And I think managing the emotions in these type of games, you, you know last year was a classic. Now you're trying to form this year's identity of this team and go out and get a win in a big-time rivalry game. And I think that might be an example of the running back maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Everybody wants to try to bounce the ball outside and hit the home run, but in college football at this level, you just need to do a better job taking what the defense gives you. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. To the air. It's Nussmeyer. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first end. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman, getting to the running back cat-like quickness? After picking up a couple at second and eight. The gift to the back. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. <laughs> you know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Obviously, third downs are so critical because you, you, get, you get an extra chance to wear that defense out. Great job by the offense, great job by the quarterback completing the pass, getting the first down, moving the sticks, fresh set of down, continue to wear on this defense. He'll do it himself. He goes out of bounds after a solid gain on the play. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking for a man, it's Nussmeyer. Got rid of it just in time. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They'll try to get it through the air. Looking to the end zone. Grab near the marker. It's Daniels. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Tigers! You want to keep your offense on the field? Wear down the defense? Put that tape on and show it in a clinic. That's the way it's done. And as a defense, man, there's nothing more demoralizing. You can handle it when you give up three, but to give up the touchdown at the end of a long drive, you're already exhausted. You've already been punked the whole way down the field. Man, that's frustrating. Ready to try the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. 
just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. Couldn't connect on first down. Now second and 10 from the 24. Pulls it in. It's Satekna. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Well, that was a dart right there. He's going to give Arkansas a chance because in the old days in the SEC, you had to run the football if you were going to win championships. Today, you better be able to get it done through the air. When you think of all the great play callers in this league and all the Heisman Trophy winners this league has seen at the QP position in recent years, you better be able to do it throwing the ball. This guy, I think, gives Arkansas a chance with his arm. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Quarterback on the keeper. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Looking to throw, it's green. Got his man in the middle. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Armstrong. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Remember some of the years when the Hogs spent a lot of time in the Wildcat just running it? You don't have to do that with this guy at quarterback. And it just makes you less predictable, right? You, you got a running back in there, you know you're not going to throw it very much, but when they do have the ability to push the ball down the field and get some guys out of the box, it makes this offense even more exciting. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting the backfield, making the play. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. The throw to the outside is complete. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Leaves it with the back. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. Both teams made no secret they wanted to target their big play receivers, and they've done just that in the first.
They fought to a stand still in the first. Let's see if someone can get the edge in the second quarter. Dropping back, it's Green. He's got his man. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. And the Razorbacks trying to cash it in on first and goal. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. They'll run it on first and goal. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Can the D deny them on second and goal? They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Unsuccessful second down, and now I'm immediately thinking, I got a little bit more than I want, so what are my pass plays? What am I going to get into here offensively to try to have success on third down? This defense has been able to force a couple of third downs, but they haven't been able to get the stop. Can they do it this time? Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Razorback. You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard game. Yeah, a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. They'll leave it with him. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Back to throw, it's Nussmeyer. The quick out. On the move at the 30. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. Well, that's one the DB, I think, would like to have back. Out route, he was in man coverage. If he could have just got out of his break a little bit sooner, he might have had a chance to intercept that one and take it to the house. LSU, quick to the line. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Shakes off the defender. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense when now they got a manageable situation. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Rides to the back. Still on his feet at the 45. Make the stop at the 40, but he's got 15 yards on that one and a first down. LSU doing what it always does when they're really good, moving the ball on the ground. Yeah, trying to find that physical. They get so many great players across the country. LSU, 
has the pick of people in Louisiana. Everybody wants to come there, and you can tell they always find great talent, and they're always able to run the football. Some belief in that running game as they pick up five to the 35-yard line. So as a defensive guy, they line up in a formation. You know they're heavy on one side, and then all of a sudden, boom, two guys pull, and they go the other direction. So you can't really load up and play that. That counter keeps you off balance as a defense and makes you really be honest. After the run, 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 now to throw. Find his tight end. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Looking to go up top on first down. Coming after it. Trying to make magic with his feet. And they'll knock him down. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate. And you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes. They do it with ease. They put this ball on lockdown. Eighth play of the drive coming up. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. And they make the striking connection, and they've got it down to the 13-yard line of red zone chance. When well, you get man-to-man -man coverage and you're running that curl, I got to sell him deep. I got to get a little bit of space where I can make him think I'm running deep, running deep, and then I sit down real quick. QB, wide receiver on the same page, first down. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. He's got it. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Love the accuracy on that curl throw by the quarterback, putting it right in the numbers, right in the bread basket of his wide receiver. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give out of the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So on offense, you've got to find a way to put six up on the board. You know that in this game, field goals may not get it done. So big-time players make big plays in big games. Who can you rely on right now to get you a touchdown? Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Looking to throw for it. Unleashes to the end zone. Just threw that one way too far. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And this ought to be a chip shot from about 20 yards out. Splits the upright. It's good. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job of taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Went to the running game on first down. Now second down. Out of the gun. The running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've reached a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Floating away. Going to try to get it himself. 
At the 45 on his way. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. The Razorbacks with the first and ten. Snagged in the middle. It's the Tegna. They stop him just a link or two short of the first. And, man, what they can do on second down here. When you play zone coverage, everybody drops back. Everybody has eyes on the quarterback. You're not really looking at the wide receivers a lot of times. So they can slip in those little cracks, and the quarterback can really make precise throws. Great job. Great play. Great throw. Great game. To the air. It's Green. Got his man. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense. Next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. Down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Steps away to find some room. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Arkansas. How about the day for this young fella? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to be this time and time again. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Finds his man down the middle. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. Got his man quickly. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, and how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive, David. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. He's looking for an open man on second down. A strike downfield. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. 
tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. They'll throw it on first down. Pressure coming. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback. And down he goes. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. LSU ready to boot it away and open this second half. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They keep it on the ground to open the third. Strong run to get it out to the 21-yard line. They pick up of six. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Grabbed over the middle. It's Wilson. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator nuts. A lot of DCs, they focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they're going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. In positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. They go to the ground. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking for a man. It's Green. Scrambling away. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. 
Sometimes these guys just have eyes in the back of their head. You saw it right there. He was able to buy himself time, get outside the pocket, and at that point, I think the decision was pretty easy. Hey, I can go get this with my feet. He was able to do that. Now they got a fresh set of downs. And the Razorbacks come to the line with a new set of downs. Give to the running back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. From the gun, running back on the move. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You see, this is what great defenses do. Great defenses swarm to the football. So when you do miss a tackle, it's not the end of the world. There's another guy right there to wrap him up. Great defenses seem like they got 12 guys on the field. Nice job swarming to the football, engulfing the running back. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Trying to escape and get it himself. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Fourth down and in inches, and you go read any book you want to, any analytical measure, and it will tell you, go for it. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And this will fall incomplete, and they'll turn it over on downs. Line gets set, first down. The give from the gun. You'll take this every time, five yards on the first down play. I know that wasn't a huge, sexy gain. I know not everybody's jumping up and down, but what it does do is put you in great position to succeed on second down. Second and 10, really hard. Third and 10, really hard. Now you're in a manageable situation. It really gives you the whole playbook. LSU right back to the line. Using the quick game. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And they pick up just a few on that completion. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yardage situations. Back to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Makes the catch along the sidelines and steps out of bounds. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. He wants to throw it again. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Hey, really nice job on defense, too. Understanding the situation. It's third down. We're fine giving up completions right there. But we're not giving up the first down. We're keeping the football and the ball carrier in front of us, and we're tackling the catch. Awesome job, and now you've set up fourth down. They'll go with the running game on fourth down here. Brought down, but looks as if LSU will pick up the first down. Yeah, at this point of the drive, fourth down and inches in your opponent's territory, you're trying to get into field goal range. You're just going to run the football. You're going to try to be more physical at the line of scrimmage. They were right there. LSU moving quickly, going to work again on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. Yeah, and I, I don't know what happened. He didn't look open as it is, and the QB's trying to make a play, trying to force the ball, but at least he threw it where his guy could catch it or nobody could catch it. 
Getting deep in the third quarter here. Clock stopped with a minute and a half to go. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Got it set up on the outside. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Yeah, and you're going to see this offense find different ways to get this running back involved. It's not just going to be on handoffs, and they're certainly going to line him up in different places and even throw him the football. But the screen game's a big part of it, too. We'll try to get him going there. On third and long, he has to throw for it. They're setting up the screen. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. He did a nice job of it. And the Tigers are in the hurry up. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Let's it fly deep downfield. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Well, we know down here when you're throwing into the end zone, the windows are so, so small. The ball gets tipped like that. There are a lot of defenders lurking around. QB's lucky that one wasn't picked. Here comes second down, and this crowd is turning it up a notch. He'll try to pop the draw. Running behind those pads, he gets a couple before he stopped at the 18. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And it's incomplete as he was trying to make the play in the back corner of the end zone. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage, so everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And he'll try to make it two for two, this time from 35 yards away. It's good. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. From the gun, the ground game. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. 
They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there, breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. Comes out throwing on first down, using the back as a receiver on the screen. And he never had a chance. As soon as he caught it, the defense was right there. They thought they had that screen set up, but there was a giant hole in the screen, and they went backwards. Defense obviously did a good job watching tape, Reese. They know this is an offense that's going to try and take advantage of their pass rush upfield and try to sneak some screens in, but nobody on defense fooled that time. Got it. In the middle, it's Brown. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in the game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Here on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. He looks that one in nicely. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. The Razorbacks have it with a first and ten. Going to the ground. Using that running game to bludgeon forward. He's got four down to the 35. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Looking to pass. It's Green, trying to get to it. He'll pull it down and run. Finds a crease at the 20. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job by the QB, sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. Going to run it. It's Jackson. Trying to run it in in the red zone. He's got four, and he's down at the 12. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. To the ground with the back. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to get it through the air. Looking to buy time. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. You know, I think in this situation of the game, too, if I'm this guy, I'm thinking the same thing, right? I'm throwing and getting yards, and if it's not there, I'm going to take this game over myself with my legs. We're in the fourth quarter. We've got an opportunity, one possession down, to get back in this thing. I just got to do whatever I got to do to make that happen. Turning to the running game on first and goal. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And they take it in for six more points. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way. And I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
And the extra point splits the upright, and the lead balloons to 15. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. He'll start this drive firing. Throws to the wideout. And the pass hits, picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Now this offense is back on the field. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. And I like the first thought process right here. Run the football. We want to run that clock with the lead. Thank you to the defense for forcing that turnover, setting us up. Now if we can put a few first downs together, we're looking really good. And the Razorbacks will try to punch it in on first and goal. On the move. Touchdown, Arkansas! And the punishment has been extended. A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such a great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And they tack on the extra point. It's 35-13. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a win. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. LSU quick to the line. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. Fires to the tight end. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody in bounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sideline. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Dialing up a second down pass play. Caught over the middle. It's Anderson. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The aerial assault continues. Unloads to the wideout. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you've, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concentration, and that is how you make your quarterback look really good. 
Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Going up top on first down. All kinds of time in the pocket. Down the middle it goes. Touchdown by you Bengals. What a grab and go for the score. And a nice touchdown. Continuing to fight. Continuing to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It would take a miracle. But nice job by this offense. Continuing to fight. Push the ball down the field. Make plays. Now the two-point conversion attempt is coming. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Makes the grab for the two-point conversion as they cut further into that lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they pay it off with a strike from 38 yards out. They're definitely up against it. Time running out. Down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. Yeah, and this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time you, when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run it from the gun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. And they'll take a knee and watch this clock keep on winding, winding its way toward a victory. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And this field goal attempt might just seal the deal by making it a three-score game late. And that is no good. Missed the field goal, missed the chance to make it a three-possession game, but still a 14-point lead, guys. And after this play, the cake will be baked. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. They're bringing heat. And down he goes, and that's going to do it. Didn't have much of a chance there, and the defense puts an exclamation point on this one. 